Hi, this is Greg Witt with Alpha Wild. Today, I want to answer one of our most common questions. What do I wear to hike in the Alps? Mountain weather is unpredictable, but you can outsmart it by being prepared. You don't want to overpack or carry a lot of useless items, but with some forethought and a few tips from the pros, you can pack smart and have everything you need. Let's start with tops. You should come prepare with four layers. That may seem like overkill, but the most important part of your body to keep warm is your core. For your base layer, you'll want to choose something light and moisture wicking. Merino wool is great, but there are also a variety of synthetics that do a great job at keeping the moisture off your body. The one thing you don't want to do is wear a 100% cotton base layer. I love cotton for leisure and around the house, but when it comes to hiking apparel, cotton is rotten. For the mid layer, again, merino wool is ideal. It's great at regulating temperatures and it dries quickly. It's odor resistant. Fleece is another great option since it insulates so well, but it may cause you to sweat more. For your outer layer, I like a lightweight packable down jacket or vest. It doesn't come out often on the trail, but at the tops of passes, it can be cold and windy and having this in my pack can be a real lifesaver. It only weighs a few ounces, but it's worth its weight in gold. Lastly, you'll want rain gear, tops and bottoms. The one thing I know for sure is that it's most likely to rain when you don't have your rain gear. Over the course of the summer, I'll use my rain jacket about once a week, maybe only for an hour or less at a time. And the pants, I may only wear them a few times each summer. But when you need them, you need them. Nothing else takes their place. They stay neatly tucked in the bottom of my pack and then come out at a moment's notice. For the rest of your hiking wardrobe, let comfort and proven performance be your guide. If you already have it and you love it and it's served you well in the past, you probably want to bring it for hiking in the Alps. Remember, your opinion as a product field tester is the only opinion that matters. When it comes to pants, the most common question here is long or short. It's a matter of personal preference. I prefer long hiking pants because at high elevations it can get cold even in the middle of summer and there are occasional brambles and stinging nettles along the trail but again personal preference. For your hat keep in mind that the Alps has a low timber line about 6,500 feet so most of your hiking will be above timber line and unshaded. For that reason I prefer a wide brimmed hat. That may or may not be your style and maybe a small ball cap will be your preference, but do bring a hat. For socks, most hikers choose a merino wool based cushioned hiking sock. My preference and the sock I'm wearing right now is the Cloudline medium cushion hiking sock. It's a great balance of softness, fit and stretch. It's 63% merino wool, 33% nylon, and 4% spandex. For boots, keep in mind that even on our most strenuous treks, your luggage will be shuttled, so you're not carrying a heavy pack, you're not carrying a sleeping bag, tent, or stove, and you probably won't be needing the support of an ankle-high hiking boot, unless you've had persistent hiking problems with your ankle in the past. You'll be hiking for the most part on well-groomed mountain trails. For that reason, I choose a low-cut hiking boot. They're more breathable, they're lighter, and easier to pack in a suitcase. And given the choice, go with a waterproof shoe, with a Gore-Tex or a similar waterproof layer. So there you have it. That's how we dress for success in the Alps. I've linked some of our favorite items below. But the most important thing is to bring clothing and gear that you've already trail tested and that meets your personal standard for comfort and performance. This is Greg Witt for Alpenwild. See you on the trail.